Hi, thank you for joining me for this review of this Fairy B Dinosaur Q95 95mm micro FPV racing drone supplied courtesy of GearBest for review that comes in this box fairly basic and if we open it up this is what we get on the inside the prop guards four prop guards with an integrated stand four 2035 four blade spare propellers and the little dinosaur itself so this is all we get in the box so no instruction manual it doesn't come with a battery and this is a BNF bind and fly version it comes on this strong 3mm carbon frame It looks like quite a strong, durable little craft. So this has a 700 TVL HD CMOS FPV camera operating on 5.8 gigahertz. It has 1104 6000 kV brushless motors. So these are really powerful little brushless motors. The FC flight controller board is a mainstream F3. FC with OSD integrated. We also have 4-in-1 BL Heli S 20 amp D-Shot ESCs. And the VTX is switchable from 25 milliwatts to 100 milliwatts and also to 200 milliwatts. We have an integrated buzzer alarm, the two little LED lights, has the JST connector for a battery. And the recommended batteries to use with this are two cell and three cell batteries. So I'll be trying it out with a two cell 900 mAh, also with a two cell 1200 mAh, and three cell batteries. So it has nice protection here on the top the 5.8 gigahertz antenna can adjust these 2.4 gigahertz antennas comes with a battery strap to secure the battery on the bottom has a mini USB port to plug into Betaflight and configure settings in Betaflight. This camera angle can't be changed. It's in a fixed position here. So let's see how much this weighs. Okay, it comes in at 63 grams without a battery. And I just add a 900 mAh battery. Not the best battery for it or the lightest, but let's just put it on. And see, 
and this now weighs 109 grams. This also comes with an FR Sky XM Plus receiver over here, which has a range of approximately 1.5 kilometers, which is really quite far for this size of craft. A little button over here for the camera to change band and frequency, and this has 40 channels. And if we have a look at it alongside the awesome F100, which is a 100 millimeter, there really isn't too much difference in size. But this has 1103 motors as opposed to 1104. And I'll also try it with this 500 mAh battery that comes with the awesome so I do expect much better performance from the Furry B Dinosaur Q95 so let me set it up so in beta 5 basically the first thing you need to do go to the ports enable UART3 and then save and reboot then go to configuration select DSHOT 600 if you want to use DSHOT 600 but I recommend you do Let's just move down here and then you have to put it as a serial based receiver change the receiver mode here and select SBUS and then save and reboot again and over here we've just got the LED strip and the OSD enabled pit tuning left at defaults receiver all working okay Go to modes. Okay, I've set arm disarm on auxiliary one, and auxiliary two will be for um, horizon, angle, and air mode, which is acro mode. I put auxiliary three beeper, which is that one. And then auxiliary 4 OSD over here. Motors fairly straightforward, all set on 1500. This is the OSD, so main battery voltage, fly time, fly mode, and you can see the diagrams on here. Changed it to PAL. I actually want this to be metric, so I'm going to change that. Lift these at their default values. That's all we have for the OSD. LED strip, just leave it at the default it came with. Then CLI, we just put in here. So always good once you set it all up to save your CLI and this is Betaflight Omnibus 3.1.7 uh, April 3rd 2017. So those are the settings and the basic setup in Betaflight. So after having set this up now and testing I unfortunately have discovered that there is no OSD. So this is quite disappointing considering that the um, FC board has integrated OSD but this has come with an incompatible camera. The camera only has two wires coming from it for power 
a note cable for video or OSD. So I will be replacing this camera with a camera that's compatible for OSD. The three wires and I can solder the OSD onto the board here. And then because this also doesn't come with any instruction manual whatsoever, I will put links in the description on what this mini tower combination is that will give you more detail about the FC board and the ESC. So now let's have a look at it in action. Okay, let's see how the Furry B Q95 goes with a two cell 370 mAh battery. Okay, climbs quickly, nice punch out. Motors sound quite soft and smooth, but really is going at a nice speed. Very responsive. Let's see how it goes in acro mode. Okay, you can hear the motors actually working and on a higher pitch now in acro mode. Very responsive. Flies well in acro mode. Sounds quickly. Turns well. Really responds very well. Our quick turn. We've been going one and a half minutes. Punch out. Turn. Let's try a flip. Okay, nice roll and flip. Really responsive. Very fast, very agile. Nice. They've been going two and a half minutes. I need to be a bit careful of battery now, mate. Hey, got. Three minutes in acro mode. Really responds nicely. Three and a half minutes. So quite a good flying time in acro mode so far. Okay, stop the clock. So nearly four minutes in acro mode. Okay, now just a quick test using a 900 mAh battery to see how it goes 
and how much flying time we can get. So uh, nearly four and a half minutes on a 900 mAh battery and the battery weighs 45 grams.